Toby, the 2023 cross country season is off and running, so to speak. Um, you have uh, on the women's side a almost completely new roster. Mm -hmm. On the men's side, you've got some key guys back from last year, but mm -hmm. also some important newcomers to this mm -hmm. team. Talk about how um, preseason, the, the training sessions went, mm -hmm. and, and uh, dealing with smoke, dealing with the mm -hmm. weather, the yeah. typical adversity that you have to when you're at Whitworth University. Yeah. You know, it, when you coach for as long as I have, you know, sometimes you get into habits and routines and things. And what we decided to do this year is kind of start, start anew. Uh, you know, we had uh, eight freshmen and transfer women and six uh, freshman guys. That's 14 of the 33 total athletes on the team. So we figured it was a good time to kind of uh, start over. And so we spent a uh, training camp just – you know, doing things from scratch. And um, yeah, smoke really didn't impact us because the smoke was uh, the day before our first run. And so that was good. Um, and uh, yeah, so training camp has been awesome. Uh, we had a great first meet and now uh, we're ready to, to roll with the season. That first meet's always a little bit different for you guys. Um, you're competing against schools that mm -hmm. are, are bigger, mm -hmm. more powerful. You're not necessarily racing to win. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it that you're hoping to get out of a meet like that? Yeah, you know, as we do with all of our athletes in our program, we look at everybody as an individual, and we look and say, okay, what does this person need at this point in time? Now, obviously, we want to do well as a team. You know, we want to go out there and compete well and try to win. Uh, but we're also looking at, in cross country and track both, you know, the end of the year is what matters. And so these first meets are just kind of glorified practice in a way, but we don't want to take them uh, for granted because every opportunity we have to compete is a, is a unique opportunity. So uh, we just went down the roster and, okay, what does this person need? You know, some, some people need to race and get out there and, you know, feel what it is to race in college or for returners. They trained really hard over the summer and they want to see where they're at. Well, others are just getting out there, you know, getting the rust off and, and seeing what it's like to, to run uh, with other college athletes. Um, but we came away from that meet um, with a plan, and people executed really well. We got a lot of, what well, we say, we got a lot of data. So now we can work for two weeks until our next meet. Coming up this Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, Pacific Lutheran Invitational, mm -hmm. for those who are returning, a course that they're mm -hmm. familiar with because they've run on it. Mm -hmm. Uh, what kind of field are you going to face? What kind of course is this? Yeah, so according to, uh, to the, the host, uh, PLU, it's going to be the biggest meet uh, for this Invitational, which we're excited about because the more athletes to race against, the better. Uh, it's going to be kind of typical uh, UPS and PLU from our conference, and then I, I believe maybe another school from our conference will be there. And then, you know, a spattering of community college and NAI schools and Division II schools, and uh, you kind of get a, a little bit of everything. Um, but it's always been a great meet for us. Uh, where we get out there and we, again, get a really go out there and compete in a 6K for the women and 8K for the men and see where we're at with the rest of the schools in our conference that are there, um, but also just to see where we're at compared to, you know, last year for returners or for freshmen to see, hey, what does a 6K and 8K look like?